Sitting on the banks of the magnificent Lake Michigan, Chicago is the third largest and one of the most vibrant cities in the United States. Known for its bold architecture, music scene, amazing food, and unique neighborhoods. Today, I'm taking you on an adventure to explore the top eight things you can do while visiting the Windy City for a day or even longer. From the world's famous cloud gate, the delicious food, the stunning architecture, to the highest observation deck in the United States at the iconic Willis Tower. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're here by the Michigan Lake. It's a little bit past 6 a.m. We're waiting for the sunrise. Super excited about the day we have planned today as we explore one of the most beautiful cities on the planet. Welcome to Chicago, Illinois. My journey begins on an incredible 19-hour overnight Amtrak train ride from Denver to Chicago's Union Station. If you haven't seen the video of my sleeper car experience, I'll leave the link in the description below. The first stop of the day here in Chicago is at the north end of the Millennium Park. This is the perfect location to start your day, watching the sunrise over Lake Michigan and getting some pretty stunning pictures. The Millennium Park is located in the heart of downtown Chicago and is home to many iconic attractions, including the Cloud Gate, also known as the Bean, which we will visit next on our journey this morning. Hey guys, we made it to the Bean, official name, the Cloud Gate. You can see it right here. A couple of interesting facts about it. Uh, it was built in 2006 at a cost of $23 million. It weighs 20,000 pounds. There is a restaurant, a train station run underneath that had to be reinforced in order for it to sustain the weight. It's time to start walking towards the next adventure of the day, which promises to be epic, exploring one of the world's most beautiful cities on a cruise down the historic Chicago River. I'm walking now over the Chicago River. The river runs through the entire city. We're gonna take that boat and take a tour through this part of Chicago. After a warm welcome from the crew and the very important safety announcement, it's now time to start our journey through 130 years of architectural innovation. These two buildings right next to us on the right hand side. Marina City Tower, designed in 1967 by Bertrand Goldberg, a student of East Van Roe, in an effort to attract middle-class workers downtown to live, because folks, back in the day, no one wanted to live in downtown Chicago. And it always gets its own hand movement. What I mean by that is when people notice this building and they want somebody else to look at it, they will nudge them and they do this. Let's look at the bottom. It almost looks like the building is built upside down. That is 150 North Riverside, and the reason that this building is this shape is because for the longest time, the land this building sits on was not being developed. 
There was a river on this side, train tracks on the other, so it was too small. And this red brick building here had a great view of the river. But then in 2017, Ketchin Partners had the nifty idea, why don't we build a skyscraper that starts out as the smaller base of a building and grows outward from the bottom. The river tour was amazing. The name of the company is Wendela Tours. I'll put the link in the description down below. So you guys are in Chicago, you can check it out. Now I'm gonna be looking for some Chicago pizza. is one of the oldest pizzerias here in Chicago. It was absolutely delicious. I'm gonna take a walk down Magnificent Mile, but first let's go and get some dessert. Right, so I don't think I'm gonna eat anything else uh, today. So no more food in this video, but I'm gonna take a walk down Magnificent Mile. And it starts right behind me here in the Chicago River. And it goes all the way down to Old Street. So it's about a mile. And it's kind of the high end side of Michigan Avenue here in Chicago. Let's go and check it out. point of our walking tour through the Magnificent Mile. Uh, a quick stop to show you guys uh, that right there is a Starbucks Reserve Roastery. It's one out of only six that are currently operating in the world. It's four floors and they brew the most exclusive coffee that Starbucks has to offer. We have come to the end of the magnificent mile walking tour. Now it's time to see Chicago like never before, from the highest observation deck in the United States at the iconic Willis Tower.
The Willis Tower, formerly known as the Sears Tower, is an impressive 108-story, 1,450-foot skyscraper, earning the title of the third tallest building in the Western Hemisphere. Today, I'll be ascending 103 stories and walking outside on a glass balcony just outside the observation deck. After going through security check, it's time to start heading to the elevator which will ascend 103 stories in just under one minute. The observation deck offers an interactive experience, including a gift shop and stunning views spanning up to four states on a clear day. For today's experience, I purchased my ticket online, which made the process very easy. I will leave the link in the description below. The expedited entry is a really good option if you're short on time, but the general entry is also a good option for those with more time. After enjoying the observation deck, I start heading towards the ledge. These glass boxes extend out 4.3 feet from the sky deck. Each box is compromised of three layers of half inch thick glass, laminated into one unit and fully tempered. The couple in front of me asked for help with some of their pictures, and after a few seconds, it was my turn to walk into the glass box. The views from the glass box are stunning, but you do have to move pretty quick as they only allow 60 to 90 seconds per group. Chicago is such a beautiful city, so make sure you put on your plans to visit. Subscribe to the channel, you don't want to miss the videos that are coming up, and I'll see you soon.